Okay, so we're going to start, continue with our uh, Halloween narrative writing. Okay, we're talking about uh, setting the scene. How will you hook your reader? Okay, obviously I'm going to be the, the one reading this. How are you going to make it interesting so that way I don't fall asleep when I'm reading it, reading your story? Okay, you want to hook. Okay, you want to talk about who, when, what, and where. So something like this. You want to start with a question. Okay, this begins by asking the reader an interesting question. Okay, how bad could it be? I wondered before my whole family left on our first flight with all 10 of us taking the same flight. Okay, that's just an example. Obviously, your question has to deal with Halloween, right? Okay. You're not asking a question for an opinion. Okay. You're asking a question to grab the reader's attention. Okay. You can do sound effects. Okay. What does the ghost say? Boo, right? Okay, sound effects. This begins with a specific sound to get the reader's attention. Ah! Oh okay, got your attention. Okay. Obviously, since it's a Halloween, it has to be something related to that, right? Okay. Uh, snapshot. This begins with the author painting a picture of the reader for the reader. Okay, so, for example, it says, I was laying in my uh, warm bedroom watching the light uh, from the sun, sunlight stream into the room through the window. Okay, Or it was a dark, gloomy night on October 31st. <laughs> All right? Be creative. Have fun. Okay, action lead. Okay, the, uh, this gets the reader quickly involved in the story by starting with an exciting event or action. Maybe, okay, not to introduce the, the setting and all the characters and stuff. Transition words. You start off with maybe first in the beginning, okay, next, okay, this would be maybe your um, climax, how you would start this, and then how you would end. All right, and then you want an awesome conclusion. This is a narrative, so when I conclude my paragraph, my my story, do I say in conclusion? No, you're not writing an opinion. It's a narrative. Okay. All right. You're basically telling how the story ended. How do your characters solve the problem that they had? All right. Say sample conclusions of a uh, paragraph, okay? Use a concluding transition. For example, at the end of the day, or in this case, maybe you're trick-or-treating at the end of the night, right? Okay? And so here's an example that they have. So did, at the end of your story, how did, how, did your, how did your character or the person you're talking about solve uh, that problem that you have? Okay? Because the narrative... You have a setting, okay, a climax, and then a resolution. Okay, resolutions when they um, uh, you share how they solve the problem in your story. Okay, and then you wrap it up at the end. Okay, so here's your assignment. Ready? It says narrative writing tells a story in the order that it happened. It begins with a catchy lead, like a question, right? With maybe a sound effect. Okay. Uh, and use the details to describe people, places, and things. So you got to give me a lot of details explaining what's happening in your story. Narratives have a, a beginning, middle, and ending. Your climax is probably in the middle of the story where it really gets really exciting, right? Really good. Okay, narratives describe in detail the characters, setting, and have a plot with the problem. Narratives include dialogue between characters. So I'm going to use what? Quotation marks. Perfect. Your assignment is to write a narrative about Halloween. Be creative. Make sure you develop your characters and the setting. Use lots of adjectives and adverbs. So your story is full of re uh, is so your story is fun to read. Okay, this is part of your assignment as well. Now you could look back at this and help you, but today you're just writing this out for me. Okay.
in order to be able to see right now, I'm not able to write. In order for me to write, I need to exit out of presentation mode and I could double click and then start writing like this. Okay. If something happens, just let me know and I'll, and I'll take care of it because I can go into your assignment and fix it for you. Okay. Do I really need to put um, uh, complete sentences right now? No. no, I'm just thinking, who are the characters in your story? What's the setting? Where does your story take place? Okay. The plot, what's the beginning of the story? At the beginning of the story, you state the problem that your character might have. In the middle of the story, okay, what's the what's happening at the middle of the story? Your climax. Okay, and then the plot at the end. Well, how do your characters solve the problem that they had? Okay, you're just going to start with this first. Later on, it says start with transition words and include specific details. Then you can start giving me more details at the beginning of your story. More details at the end, at the middle, and more details at the end. Here's some linking words. Each one of these slides is in your assignment, by the way. Okay, so you have all this. If you're like Ms. Martita, I want to use uh, um, some linking words. Well, you could use some of these right here. First, second, third, right? Here's this to conclude. Okay. Again, are we using in conclusion? No. No, we're not using an opinion piece. Okay. And this is just a little checkoff list. Make sure you capitalize everything. And if you want to capitalize something, you hold the, the shift key down and then press the letter you want to capitalize, right? Yes, Mr. Bartita. This is where you're going to write your, your final draft goes right here. So everything that you wrote in these slides, beginning, middle, and ending, I'll show you how to copy it and put it here. Okay? It'll say title narrative, finish the story first, and then you can come up with the title. Okay? By, you'll put your name right here, and then you'll write the rest of it. Okay? When your narrative is complete, I could help you how to add a picture if you need to. Okay? All right. Some of you are like, oh, I already know how to do it. Great. Okay. But make sure you, you know, if it's about Halloween, you want to write, put something on there, right? Am I going to, am, am I going to add a picture of a dog? No. No, my story is not about a dog. It's about a ha the Halloween, something, you know, dealing with that, depending on what your story is. Okay. When you get to this page and you're all done, then you can submit it. And it's due Thursday. So. I'm going to stop here.